after uh, calculating the total distance covered by and during the two phases we have now to draw the speed time curve of the car and for the two phases let's recall the uh, time equations in each phase so for the first phase the time equation was uh, x equal minus 0 0.8 t squared plus 30 t so this is the general equation for UDRM because A is negative and we have T squared. So we can say that the coefficient of T squared here is, uh, mine is half A. Sorry, this is half A. And the coefficient of T is the initial speed of, uh, of this phase. All right. So now if I want to determine the speed time equation also to be able to represent it. It's in the form of V equal A T plus V zero. So half A equal minus zero point eight. We already calculated it and obtained A equal minus one point six. Then V for N is equal to minus one point six T plus thirty. This is for the first phase. In order to draw, uh, to draw the line, okay, we know that in UDRM, the line is going to be a decreasing straight line. The line of V versus T is a decreasing straight line. So that's why we can take here particular points. But here I want to, to give a very, very important note, which is that we should not, we should not ex and exceed uh, the limit. What is the limit here? The duration of the first phase was 10 seconds as proven before. Okay, uh, for the first phase, yani, which means that uh, until the car reached the position D or point D. So uh, the limit here is still 10 seconds. So we have, uh, we can take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine ten so these are the particular points that could be taken okay within this range it's enough to take two to three of them i'm not going to calculate all of them just i wanted to make sure that you do not exceed the limit all right so how do you obtain the particular points you substitute in the speed time equation for t equal to zero v equal 30 for t equals uh, one you substitute minus 1.6 plus 30 you obtain 28.4 uh, for t equals 2 it is 26.8 and so on 26.8 and so on okay so we have two particular points here i have now represented on the graph okay so we have for sure to consider a certain scale now uh, this is this is the graph this is the y-axis the x-axis the y-axis is for the speed because we want to represent v versus t v in meters per second and t in seconds on the x-axis a convenient scale uh, on the time axis could be uh, let's count how many boxes do we have here one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So uh, on the y, uh, on the x-axis, the scale um, that I'm going to consider is every one centimeter is equal to one second. And for the y-axis, the maximum value we have is 30. Then it's going to decrease and remain constant. So uh, let's consider a scale of... Uh, Every one centimeter on the y-axis represent um, two meters per second. So here, vertically, two meter per second. Okay. So thirty is going to be fifteen uh, centimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is thirty. 
and at t equal to zero, this is the origin also. The first point here for the line is this point. Let's consider another one, which is 28.4. At t equal to one, of course, you have to show one, two, three, and so on. So at t equal to one, we have a 28.4. 28.4 divided by the scale, which is two, we obtain 14.2. So you have to, uh, this is for, this is uh, 28 here. So 28.4 uh, is 14.2. means it is uh, somewhere here. Okay, for t equal to 2, it's 26.8, which is 13.4 centimeter. So it's almost uh, here, 26.4, and so on. Okay, this for this point is not included. Okay, so you join the line using a ruler, but you keep it straight till the 10 seconds because for the first phase the duration is uh, 10 seconds. So four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. So you keep on joining the line until you reach a point. Of course, now it's not straight here, so it should be straight. Okay. Then after that, for the second phase, we have that, or given that, the um, car keeps on moving at a constant speed. And we said it, it moves at the speed, like here it reached point D, this is point D at T equal to 10. Okay, so it's going to continue at the same speed of D. So we have to calculate D belong to the first phase. So we can calculate D, D by substituting T equal 10 seconds in the time, P time equation of the first phase. So you can say that VD is equal to minus 1.6 t here just to make sure okay uh, uh, minus 1.6 t where t is 10 so i'm gonna directly replace it here 10 plus 30 so 30 minus 16 it is equal to 14 meter per second so 14 meter per second at this point, 14 is going to be exactly here. So this is the point, right? And then we continue 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Another note here, the same note as that for the first phase. Do not exceed 10 seconds for the phase, first phase. And do not exceed the 5 seconds for the, for the second phase because we don't have any given about 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 what happened after this time they only told us that uh, he kept on moving at a constant speed for five seconds so we have only to represent this constant speed within only five seconds okay so till 15. this is the representation the right representation of the v versus t now calculate the area formed by the speed time curve and the time axis what can you conclude Okay, you can see that there are two phases, so we are going to divide the area into two parts. The first part here, which is, uh, so we draw a vertical dotted line in order to check the geometric shape obtained. So here we have in the first phase uh, trapezoid and in the second phase, so this is for the first phase, this is for the second phase. Okay, the first one is a trapezoid, this is a trapezoid, and this is, um, so here we have four, so this is a rectangle, okay, because the sides are not equal, to, uh, the, the length is not equal to the width. So if we want to solve it, Area of trapezoid is equal um, half base 1 plus base 2 into height. So 3.4 in a brief area for trapezoid. Okay, of course, you have to write the details. Area of trapezoid is half into base 1 plus base 2 times height. 
base 1 is equal to 30 and base 2 is equal to 14 meter per second so we have half 30 plus 14 and the height is 10 seconds so here 30 plus 14 meter per second times 10 seconds so second and second cancels we are left with meter and half into 30 plus 14 is uh, 44 times 10 so 220 meter if you go back to the distance covered here when we calculated in part 3.2 the distance covered you see that the distance covered during the first phase was calculated to be 220 meters just as the area below the trapezoid and the same unit. And area of the rectangle again is length times width. So length here is, is 14 meters per second and the width is 5 seconds. So you have 14 meters per second times five seconds so seconds and second cancels we have 14 times 5 70 70 meters again go back to the distance covered during the second phase d2 we said that it's equal to 70 meter as you can see here so if we add them up together, we're going to find the total distance covered during the two phases. So now in grade 11, you're going to learn about integrals and derivatives. We are going to find out that there is a relation between, uh, between speed and uh, distance. And uh, there's something about derivatives and antiderivatives. So forget about, forget about it now. Just like notice yeah, the, 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 the relation and the area is equal to the distance area of the uh, area below the graph of V versus T is equal to distance covered. And then later on, when you uh, move to higher uh, levels or to higher classes, you're going to learn more about it mathematically.